is the head coach of the Longview Lobos. We are so happy to be joined by Coach John King. Coach, how are you? Hey, I'm doing fine. Uh, I imagine that uh, this time of year is uh, is a fun time of year for you. It is a fun time. It's a busy time I'm trying to get everything in line from practicing your football team, preparing them for the se- uh, season, and getting things lined up with uh, your facilities and and uh, you know athletic maintenance workers and everything else. I was just sitting there visiting with our uh, facilities director Mike Gibson, trying to get everything uh, in line for for this coming uh, scrimmage tonight. Uh, who are who are you scrimmaging tonight? We scrimmage Pine Tree okay. uh, tonight. It's uh, seven o'clock here at Lobo Stadium. Uh, I imagine that uh, there will be a couple of people out there to to watch the game. Uh, you are in charge of a program that has perennially high expectations. Uh, a team that expects expects championships, not just from a district level, uh, but from a bigger level as well. For for you now entering uh, your thirteenth season at the helm of of the Lobos. Is it is it pressure? Is it expectations? How do you kind of uh, how do you deal with the fact that there are people in Longview who really really care uh, about how well the Lobos do on Friday nights? Well, you know, the expectations are always high in Longview, and uh, that's what makes it one of those unique jobs. And yeah, there's pressure that comes along with it. But like I tell people all the time, I'd a heck of a lot rather be expected to win than expected to lose. And you know, uh, nobody puts me pressure on, on it, uh, themselves and you know these coaches and players I mean it's that's just part of the part of the job and, and part of the place we're at it's a special place and the community loves Lobo football and very supportive of it and they expect to win and and uh, that's kind of the mindset our football team has and our and our coaching staff we do expect to win and, and we work extremely hard to make sure we give ourselves a chance to do so when you look at your squad this upcoming year, I think a lot of folks w- would take a look at the fact that you've got only two returning starters on offense and two returning starters on defense and say, oh, well, you know, Longview may be taking a step back. But if you dig a little deeper, a 10-0 and JV team, a lot of really talented youngsters, when you maybe compare this team uh, to, to teams past, is there a team that uh, you think uh, this particularly compares to? Well, it's been a couple of different years. It kind of uh, compares to... Our 06 team, the 2010 team, you know, it was coming off some great years and lost a ton of senior talent. And, you know, we had uh, very few starters back. But, you know, we've kind of been through this before. Uh, but we've got a program. We just don't coach a good team. We coach every team. And we build it from the ground up starting when they come in as middle schoolers, you know. We work with them there with our middle school coaches. And we've got a plan when they show up as freshmen. And regardless of wins and losses in the sub varsity level, I mean, we try to build for the ultimate, and that's the varsity, varsity, uh, you know, competition. But um, I'm very proud of, of the way we've got it set up from top to bottom. Uh, it's great support from our school administration and our, our community to buy in to what we have to offer from the facility aspect uh, to the ability to hire a full time strength coach and have great athletic trainers and tremendous coaches that we can keep. Uh, on staff and when you're able to retain those people uh, i think it uh it really helps uh, the process of building a program and maintaining the program you've got a number of uh fascinating players and i'm gonna i'm gonna really i'm gonna make you struggle here because i know you just hate talking up your kids but uh <laughs> but uh one guy who, who's obviously very interesting to us travion webster uh, you know, a, a, a do-it-all type athlete, a guy who, who at his junior year or his so- sophomore year played running back, his junior year who's a free safety. Uh, I guess uh, my question is twofold. First and foremost, where the heck are you going to play him? And secondly, how much of his luxury is it that I get to ask that question, where the heck are you going to play him? <laughs> Come to a game and find out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move him around. Yeah. You know, he played quarter, quarterback as a freshman. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah. he's played a little bit of everything. But he's a tremendous football player. He's kind of uh, out of the same mold as Traven Howard, who's at TCU, mm-hmm. who's on a lot of the watch list, you know, this year. Uh, he's the same body build, same type of player, very intelligent and very physical. So, he started to figure it out at the end of the year last year uh, at free safety and played tremendously for us down the stretch. And we're hoping to uh, – get that same style of play out of him, but he is one of our uh, our, our big-time players, and you will possibly see him on offense some. And, and uh, you know, we've worked him some throughout spring and and, uh, and our seven-on-seven seven stuff. He played a little bit of both. But uh, we're pl- proud to have him on our team, and, uh, of course, he's earned everything he's gotten, and uh, I think big things are ahead of him. 
and John King keeping it close to the vest here on DCTF Live, <laughs> making sure not giving anything away to Lufkin or Marshall or any of those district foes. Uh, John, John Quick knows me better than I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, you, of course, when when people think of Longview football, uh, I think they think of grounded pound. They think of that that pro I style and just grind you into dust up the middle. It seems like you've got a couple of guys uh, that going to lead the way on your offense that way with Kendall Starling, your offensive lineman, and DeCraven Polk, or DeCraven Polk, your tailback. Um, when you look at your kind of offense, uh, I am, you know, when we talk about identity, Longview's certainly got an identity. More, more of the same this year? Well, I think our offensive line will be a strong part of our football team. You know, uh, Kendall Starling, as you mentioned, he'll be a three-year varsity player and three-year starter. You know, the guys that are uh, figuring in as starters this year were backups last year on the varsity and got a lot of comp- uh, quality reps uh, throughout the year. Um, you know, so they are a strong part of it. And a bunch of g- good kids, great attitudes, coached by one of the best in the game. And Tony Favara, a uh, young coach that does an outstanding job. But, you know, a lot, a lot of people don't give enough credit to our tight ends. I think our tight ends are another dimension that a lot of people don't have. And, David Ashler, our tight ends coach, uh, does an exceptional job there as well. And that enables guys like the Craven Polk and Dravian White and Trajan Bush, Jesse Anderson, those guys to, to build up those yards. And, and uh, But, no, we're, we're not fixing to come out and empty and try to throw it all over the yard. We're not. We're going to play, uh, um, you know, typical Longview football. We call it big boy football. That's not a challenge or boasting. But, uh, you know, that's just what we do. And uh, our kids believe in it. And, uh, I guess I brainwashed. They, they can call the <laughs> short yardage play faster than I can. They know what we're fixing to do. Here comes the dive. Yeah, we're talking yeah. with John King. It's and, a hard dive, too. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking with John King, the head coach at Longview Lobos, here on DCTF Live. Get involved in the conversation, hashtag DCTF Live. Uh, coach, you guys, uh, district realignment, uh, you guys got uh, drawn into a pretty darn tough district. Uh, uh, you know, eight. You, you mentioned 68 teams and 11 6 were playoff teams last year. John Tyler, Rockwall, the Mesquite Schools. Uh, when you take a look at uh, at District Eleven Six A, uh, how do you how do you make uh, heads or tails of it? There's going to be some good football teams staying at the house, mm-hmm. and uh, I hope we're we're not one of them we're trying to get one of those top four. It's de- going to be difficult. John Tyler is loaded. Starts with a quarterback, Bryson Smith, and Rodney Webb at Rockwall's got a ton of kids back from a team that was four rounds deep and lost to Lake Travis. Mike Robinson at North Mesquite, they had a tremendous year, you know, three rounds deep, first time they've been in the playoffs in a while. Um, you know, and uh, Rockwall, he from Skeet Horn, I mean, solid football teams. And Tyler Lee's got a new coach. Uh, uh, Mesquite's got a lot of pride in their program. They're, they're going to be, you know, trying to get back in the playoffs. And, heck, every week's going to be a battle. I, I, I don't think we've ever uh, – been matched up in this this district with the mesquites and the rock walls and tylers where everything is just as um you know, so much parity in, in the league i mean it's gonna be tough and there ain't no weak sisters and you got to show up and play it's going to be you're going to be battle tested uh, if and when you guys get into the playoffs that's for darn sure but first and foremost you guys are running through a brutal non-district schedule you open the year at lufkin uh, a good old east texas tussle uh, how quickly, you know, we're, we're a couple, still a week away, and I know you've got a scrimmage tonight, but how quickly uh, do you turn your attention uh, to Lufkin, and, and is there anything that you see from uh, from them so far that uh, that, that you, you think, okay, we got to watch out for that? Well, you know, we've played Lufkin so much in the last 10 years, and mm-hmm. we've played them twice the last uh, two years, each year. So uh, we know what they have coming back, and we've seen their sub varsity level, so they're going to be talented. I'm mm-hmm. going to tell you, they're – they're back to being the Lufkin of old, and you know they had a little lull there where they didn't have quite the, the quality of players that they they've been having. I mean, everything's kind of cycled through, uh, but it's cycling back upwards. I can tell you, they got some great young kids. Todd's a hell of a coach, and but uh, I can tell you, our focus will flip to Lufkin tonight as soon as those lights turn off in that stadium. But. You know, we haven't done any preparation for Lufkin. Uh, you know, we have an idea what they did last year, but uh, when we swap tape and after the night's game, then we'll get an idea of personnel and maybe what they're doing differently, if anything. Uh, I I just think it's going to be, uh, you know, that op- season opener, you're going to see typical Longview and Lufkin. Ain't so many ways to skin a cat. We've played 79 times, and we've skinned it about every way you can skin it. And, and one last question, Coach, before we <laughs> let you go, um, 
your stadium, Lobo Stadium, of course, known for, for rocking on Friday nights. It's also known for another thing with us kind of nerds is that um, <laughs> the popcorn in the press box is relatively legendary. Uh, are you familiar with this? And can you reveal the secret to the Longview popcorn? Uh, L.I.S. Food Service. That was the popcorn. And I can tell you what, I've eaten more than my share on Thursday night. I, <laughs> or playoff. I love watching right. playoff games and eating popcorn up there. And it is it is pretty good. I can tell you that there's, uh, there's some legendary uh, – uh, press box meals too for home games now. Okay. I can tell you, they put a spread on. Mm-hmm. Listen, but, uh, just the friendly confines of Lobo Stadium, man. Take care, of, take care of people that want to come here and play, and, and, uh, and all the media types that want to come cover. We uh, we're here here to play. There are few places in the world better to watch a football game than Lobo Stadium, and a guy who will be coaching uh, a lot there this week or this year is the head coach of the Longview Lobos, Coach John King. Coach, appreciate your time. Uh, good luck in the scrimmage tonight. Good luck next week against Lufkin, and I'm sure we'll be talking down the road. Okay, guys. Thank you all.